Hi guys, Ivan Susan here from Vloggers on the Loose. Um, today we're going to do a bit of a comparison between two suburbs and the various house houses in the two suburbs and the pricing and the, the facilities also in the suburbs. So we're starting off with, um, we're in um, a suburb called Alfred Cove, which lies about 13 kilometres south of the Perth CBD and it covers 1.2 square kilometres of area. It's, it's quite a small suburb, so we're in one of the side streets here, yeah, and we just take a little walk around, show you guys the housing in the area, and um, the facilities in the area. As you can see, it's, um, it's quite an old area, um, hence all the mature trees and that on the verges and in people's um, houses. So, um, Alfred Cove is fairly close to the Canning River. You can, you can walk there from certain parts of the suburb and probably from every part because um, it's like I said, it's not a very big suburb, only built on one square, it only covers 1.2 square kilometres. So there's three major parks in the area. So for a small area, it's got a bit of um, parkland here. There's three major parks here, one called Tompkins Park, the other one called Bill Sweet Park and the other one called Sid Eaton Reserve. So what we're going to do is we, we're going to look at this area and give you guys the median price of a house in here and see what you think. And then we'll go to another area which is a bit closer to the river and it's right next to Alfred Cove. And we'll give you guys the median price. They also have houses. And then you can um, see what, um, what the difference is, or we'll tell you what the difference is. Check these nice houses out, guys. These are all fairly new on your um, right hand side here. Yeah? Because um, a lot of the older houses have been demolished and people, we've seen quite a bit of construction going on in the area as we drove around. There's a vacant block there on your, on your left. So there would have been a house there and that's got demolished and next door to that is a, a newish sort of house over there on the left. So the area has been um, built up again by all these new houses. There's one there. Like I was saying before guys, there's one there under construction. That's quite a big ass. It's built by a reputable home builder in Perth called Ross North. He's been around for a long time. His office, I don't think it's too far from this area actually. So um, that one there, got a few more months to go. And then the um, occupants will be in. So I don't know if you can get river views from there. I'm assuming you can because it's quite a big balcony they've got on there, as you can see. So they'll probably um, sit on there and, and look at the river from there. And also guys, um, a major um, road that runs on the edge of the suburb, it's called Canning Highway. So Canning Highway will take you um, into, Freem into um, East Fremantle and you can worm your way into Fremantle from there. Um, hi guys, uh, we've just um, had a look through from that, um, that house under construction and you can actually see the river from there, only a glimpse of it, but I don't know what you can see from their balcony. Well, there's a slight glimpse through the trees down there, so yeah, you'll be able to get river views. Here's another one here on your right. 
um, under construction. And like I said, it's a very old suburb, but they're modernising it all with um, all these um, brand new houses under construction. Uh, I was talking about before, guys, about the major highway that runs through here. Well, not through here, but on the edge of the suburb, Canning Highway. That'll take you into the Fremantle area. And then it'll also take you to um, the other way. It'll take you to um, the, the Mitchell Freeway. And that can take you into the city, into Perth CBD. And Canning Highway eventually turns into Great Eastern Highway. It's the same, same road, different name. But guys, it's um, it's not it's not a bad location. This um, this suburb of um, Alfred Cove, pretty good location. Don't mind this house here on the left. I like those uh, wide verandas. They look quite good. There's a house over there also under construction. It looks like it's been, no, it's been added on. See the old house down the bottom and then they're putting an extension on top there. So that's what they're doing on that one. They brought in a hell of a lot of sand there. I know what that's for. Obviously going to build things up and put a retaining wall there probably. But yeah, a lot of work to do. Look at the garage, it's all open on top there so they've got still got a bit of work to do over there so guys the, the I guess you want to know the price in this area the median price in Alfred Cove is nine hundred and twenty three thousand Australian dollars there are some um, well there's, there, was, there wasn't much advertised to be honest with you on realestate.com.au when I had a look but because um, most of the houses were sold so it looks like this area sells fairly quickly it's, it's in demand as they say so all the houses there was one one for sale and it was a package deal which means that you have to build the house because it's going through a builder so it's a house and land package and for that they wanted um, 1,398,700 Australian dollars So that'll get you a brand spanking new house. Check this house out here, guys. That's a, that's a beautiful looking house, that. The red brick. And the one next door is pretty good also. Yeah, so this house and land package, that's the only one I could see on realestate.com.au. We'll put the link down below for you guys if any of you are interested. By the way, there's only 2,850 uh, residents in this area. So it's not a, like I said, it's not a huge area. So um, regarding shopping in the area, there is a, a local um, neighbourhood um, shopping centre here. Yeah? And uh, look at this house here, guys, that looks quite nice. Uh, there is a local neighbourhood shopping centre in the area. There's also, um, for your main shopping, there's Westfield Burragoon, which is a massive, absolutely massive shopping centre. And there are talks about them extending that shopping centre. So it's going to be even bigger. I think it's going to be the biggest in, in Perth when that is extended. At the moment, there's, a, there's another one called Carousel, which is um, the biggest in Perth. I think once they start on Burragoon, Westfield Burragoon, um, 
that'll be the biggest in Western Australia. Another house there, guys. Someone's obviously de demolished uh, uh, an old house there on a big block, and they've subdivided that. See the the, old, the block next to it, and they've built this house over here. So that's quite a nice looking house. So guys, um, let us know what you think of um, in a minute. Have a look at this house here, guys. This is this will be one of the real old original houses here in, in Alfred Cove. So that's what the old ones have looked like in this area. And then you've got all the newer ones. So let us know what you thought of um, the suburb of Alfred Cove. Do you live in Alfred Cove? Leave some uh, comments down below for us in the description area. And um, here's another one here, guys, which is what I like with the nice veranda in the front. I don't, I'm not really into double story houses, so the, this type of one here looks really good. I think it's the older one and they've just painted it. So, yeah, let us know what you thought of the suburb of Alfred Cove. Would you live here? Remember, it's got a median house price of 920,000 Australian dollars. Hey guys, we're in the next suburb now to compare with um, the one we came from, Alfred Cove. Don't know if you can guess the suburb, but uh, that's quite a famous um, road over there. So, um, guys, we're in the suburb of... Um, the suburb, by the way, is just across the road, across the Canning Highway um, from Alfred Cove. So directly across Canning Highway, you come to this suburb and it's called Atterdale. So, um, a bit of a contrast in housing. Oh, the, the houses weren't too bad in, in um, Alfred Cove, but this is sort of a contrast in housing here because you can see the pretty um, flash houses here and right across the road there. You can see through the trees over there. That's the Canning River. So um, you would expect, and, and you can also get a glimpse of the city skyline through there. Once we pass this tree, there's the city skyline over there, guys. And there, there is a bit of a football match, or the, there is a football match going on there. Kids playing footy on a Saturday morning. Um, warming up because it is um, another freezing cold day in, in Perth, guys. All these um, clear mornings, uh, icy cold, went down to four degrees Celsius this morning, by the way. So this is Atterdale, this is Burke Drive, the road in front of us there. Quite a famous uh, road through Atterdale. And um, it's um, a reasonably expensive um, area. The median price in this area is 1.47 million Australian dollars. Now, it is a riverside suburb. It's within the city of Melville. So that's the local council, the city of Melville. And um, this suburb's a bit closer to the Perth CBD than, than um, Alfred Cove. The suburb's only nine kilometres south of the Perth CBD. Check the sign out here, guys. I've never seen a sign like that before in any of the suburbs that we've um, covered, but it's quite a, a good sign placed there by the city of Melville. There are a lot of dickheads in the, around the areas. They've just uh, destroyed this is getting a bit, not off subject, but um, out of the, the suburb. But uh, they've just, um, in Northbridge, in our main entertainment area in Perth CBD, they've just, um, vandals have just destroyed um, quite a few brand new trees that the city of Perth have planted. Um, so it's going to cost the ratepayers tens of thousands of dollars, apparently or maybe hundreds of thousands, I can't remember. I think it was $10,000 per tree. 
that's what the Lord Mayor said. So um, vandals have destroyed that overnight. So not very good. Anyway, back to um, Atterdale over here. And as you can see, this, this house here looks fairly old over here. But it's got, um, if you swing the camera, it's got river front and city views. So you would think that's in a prime location. Whoever, bought, whoever built that house many years ago, probably in the 1960s, made a brilliant choice because today they're probably worth millions. So um, it's a nice little pathway leading down here. This is for bicycles and pedestrians. And it's a nice wide path. So both can fit on here very easily, both the bicycles and us pedestrians. And it's um, nicely tree covered. So nice and, um, nice and cool during summer, but too cool now because it's winter and it's um, quite cold. I think, I think it's about um, 15 degrees at the moment in Perth. So guys, as you can see, this, uh, this um, Burke Drive here is quite, um, quite a nice road with pretty good houses on it, multi-million dollar houses, obviously, because they've got um, access to the, uh, to the river and you've got all the views, city views and that. Mind you, some of these trees will probably block out a lot of the views. I'm not sure if they will get the river views from their balcony. Most of these houses are double storey. Um, so we're just going to get off this path over here. And we're going to go down one of the side streets and have a look because these are the expensive houses here. Um, we'll show you guys what's down the little side streets of the suburb. Might um, you might be able to pick yourself up a bargain if you if you buy a little bit inland from Burke Drive. Uh, check this house here, guys. This is quite a, a shameful disgrace for the area. Actually, it's uh, very much overgrown. I don't know if it's empty. Um, you would think it would be. Maybe it's owned by someone over in the eastern states of Australia or maybe it's owned by someone overseas and they're not really interested in renting it out or they've bought it and um, they're about to demolish it, who knows but it's very overgrown and very um, neglected so this is, that, that house by the way was on the corner of Burke Drive and this little side street we're walking down so it's got brilliant views there so some of these side streets here also look quite quite good. Now there's um, there's three schools in this area guys so if you've got school if you're interested in buying in this area and you've got school kids you'll have plenty of schooling options. There's Atterdale Primary School, there's a school called Santa Maria College and there's another school called Mal, Mal Maria Catholic Primary School. There's a few medical centres in the area also. And there's... Um, the thing what I've noticed with my research, that there's no actual shops in Atterdale. No local shops. So you'd probably have to go into... Um, there are shops in the neighbouring suburbs. And you'll have to... Cr um, and the major shopping would be at... Um, Westfield Burragoon again, the same as um, the previous suburb, Alfred Cove. And uh, like I said, Alfred Cove's got a, a neighbourhood shopping centre, so you'll probably have to cross the highway uh, to get across to Alfred Cove and go over there if you want your loaf of bread or your bottle of milk. There's another house here, guys, under construction. And next door to it is quite a modern house also. It looks quite nice actually. Very nice.
So we've, we've actually seen units in this area, in units or condos or um, whatever you call them in your, um, in your country. We've actually seen units in this area from 399,000 Australian dollars. I would say that that would probably be closer to the Canning Highway because uh, it usually gets um, less expensive closer to the highway. But if you don't mind listening to a bit of traffic going past, um, a good good area to get into for 300 and, from 399,000 Australian dollars for a unit. Now that unit will only be a one bedroom, one bathroom by the way. So um, that bird over there guys is they're uh, ibis they're called and they um, they like to um, eat the leftover scrap and all sorts of their I forget the nickname for them bin chickens or something they call them because they eat all the rubbish around the place so yeah, guys, um, 300, from 399,000 for a unit we've seen, and we've also seen houses from 1 million 100,000. There is one advertised on uh, realestate.com.au, but um, like I said, the median price in Atterdale is 1 million 470,000 Australian dollars, so 1.47 million Australian dollars. So this year is um, the site that there'd be an old old original house there with the Juliet balconies over there. I think that's what you call them. And um, yeah, as you walk deeper into the suburb um, the houses do look a little bit older. You can see the red red brick house over there straight ahead. That, that probably dates back to the 1970s, I would say. Those uh, they call clinker bricks. They, um, <laughs> to be honest, they were a horrible looking brick, but they were all over the place. Um, a lot of houses in the 1970s in Perth, probably in the rest of Australia also. Uh, so here's another sort of older style house, guys. It's a Spanish style ranch type house. Um, it's got all the ornate uh, pillars on the balcony to see. So this one here would probably be um, from the 1970s I'd say. Uh, I must say, the, apart from that uh, rundown house that we showed you early on, most of the uh, gardens in this area seem to be quite nice. So guys, uh, the difference in the median price between um, Atterdale and Alfred Cove is a whopping 550,000 Australian dollars. That's the difference in the median price with uh, Alfred Cove being the cheapest, the cheaper suburb of the two. So what do you think guys? Alfred Cove or Atterdale. I think Alfred Cove has still got uh, a bit of um, leeway in it for their price to go up actually, that's my prediction, because um, there's a lot of construction going on there in Alfred Cove, a lot of people investing in there, uh, building um, quite flash houses and that. Here's a house here for sale guys, anyone interested? This is on Burke Drive, that's the real estate agent there, Yard. Yard Realty or Yard Property. There you go, you can buy your dream house. Looks a fairly new modern house. So with saying that guys, I think we might wrap the video up here. Hope you enjoyed the, this um, video on the two suburbs, Alfred Cove in, and Atterdale, both in Perth, Western Australia. And um, Guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we need a lot more subscribers. So if you can hit that subscribe button, that'll be good. We appreciate that. 
and here's another beautiful looking house here. This one's on Bert Drive also. Nice looking house. So yeah, if you don't mind uh, hitting that subscribe button guys. And um, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.